Uh, I have now, as you see, put the machine onto the, this granite. Actually, I think it's 120 kilos. It's, of course, too thick to be placed permanently on this table. Put it on small uh, rubber pads, like a three point kinematic mount. And then I have uh, uh, glued and screwed these blocks down to the um, granite. Uh, this was done primarily to get uh, some sort of uh, possibility to, to level it. So I decided finally to uh, scrape them. These feet uh, should have, of course, then used um, cast or um, probably also could have used uh, aluminum, but I used normal steel, so they are a little bit bitchy to scrape. But anyway. Um, then I have uh, nipped up bolts and I've used, uh, of course, these were scraped and leveled and everything and then I've done the same here and leveled so that the bed is, is straight, nipped up the bolts. And uh, now it's, it's firmly mounted and I don't think uh, it'll go anywhere. And with that kind of, let's say, sink, with that kind of dead weight, um, 120 versus 30, 40 kilos, I think we are better off having it on a stand like this. A little bit unpractical, as I said, because of the height, so I will then move this to another lower table you know this was just for trial but i think this actually is a, is a good idea the motor is then hanging from uh, so to speak the bed even though we have this bolt here that supports the weight into the bed i still don't like it so i would <coughs> i would uh, figure out um, I think there's too much weight overhanging here, so figure out a way to offload this a little bit. I'm not saying that my favorite is wrong with the, I mean, 100,000 lays, probably okay enough, but at least I would like to experiment with just some sort of jack screw here, rubber um, pads, but jack screw so to offload the weight. That just would be part of the let's say the, the mounting feet and so the turning test again So the same tests again, diameter, fifty six, fifty five. Click trace 55, 54. Okay. The same here. Fluctuate between 55 and 54. Actually, you can see the three number also. Let's see if we can get that here. Yes, 
I guess that's why they called it the guest emitter. See? And the measurement seems to repeat well. In the sense that it is zero there and point one hundredths or one hundredths of a millimeter higher there. Or let's say was it one? No, it was half. So practically zero all the way. Okay, this measurement here. Traveling along the length here indicates that it is a little pushing this way. Um, could adjust that out with the tailstock, of course, but I have to also test with, with the test bar here to verify so that when you turn without. The tailstock uh, center it is still flush with the waist. Hope you can see the indica indicator there. I zeroed it. And I move the length of the test bar. And it moves like one hundredth of a millimeter that way. So the the head socket set up a little bit towards the operator like it should okay uh, just a small short update to here now is the motor running a bit quieter than last time because I had um, uh, well now I have uh, replaced the bearings in the motors but uh, doing so I found out that that was not necessary but that there were some call them bushings or rather um, to block any dirt ingress interfered with the housing of the motor but since I uh, replaced the motors with the fully shielded and uh, greased for life those were no longer necessary so now it runs a little bit more smoothly I think and the clutch rumbling noise is also gone I've uh, replaced thrust bearing there and then I had an issue with the um, with the temperature um, it's now been running for 10 minutes 30 15 minutes and then uh, off again and you see the initial temperatures or there were a couple degrees less that was an issue uh, when I had tightened the motor belt too uh, or it was too tight so up here I thought I had, an issue, I had an issue with the bearing but instead it was just the motor mm, pulling down a little bit too hard so this now will go up to roughly 32 33 degrees it was up to 40 almost 50 degrees so it was hot to the touch but now all bearings will settle at the around 32 33 degrees centigrade so after a while I've been running it for half an hour and then uh, this this is uh, the temperature it will get to small detail the hinge or the cover lock so to speak a small indent here and then this spring loaded uh, should be a roller bearing there I uh, just made it out of uh, black POM so it was missing 